I'm joined by Irish trainer Liam Dowling, ahead of the uh, Colin Annie Kirby Memorial starting on Saturday night at Limerick, sponsored by the McNan McManus family. Um, great to have you with us, Liam. I know you've got five runners and certainly a, a couple of real life chances there. Let's start with perhaps your leading contender, or you can tell us if she is, a bitch I love very much, Ballymac Ariel, who's going to be drawn out in trap six in the first round. What do you make of that? Yeah, we, we put a, a middle seat on her, Julie, because uh, watching her in Dublin, we thought she was just drifting to the right a little bit. So we we, we, um, we said we put a middle. We finished up in six, but that's what it is. And we have what we have now. So I believe Billy Stephen and ourselves are clashing. So it should be an intriguing run between the two of them. There are two super bitches. And, you know, one can win one night and the other can win another night. But I'm looking forward to the, to the race already. Ariel took a bit of a rough ride in her race and used to cut, didn't she? How is she? She's good, yeah. Look, she took a bit of a knock the last race in Dublin, but we've given her a couple of um, whips around Limerick since, and she's in good order, and, and she's ready to go. Uh, look, the, the Kirby is going to be a super competition. She has beautiful class dogs in it, and, you know, it's it's a tricky track, but once everybody has got a couple of looks at it, it, it you know, it, it always turns out to be a super competition. I'm really looking forward to it. I think this year everybody is saying it, but, you know, the, the, the class of dog around at the moment, the young pups, is, is fantastic. So I think nobody can hang on to Saturday and like to see more in action. I think it's great for us that these two bitches, we knew uh, their rivalry. I'm sure you agree that they're both brilliant bitches. Um, is she your leading fancy despite that tough first round heat, Fanny McAriel? Listen, look, she, she, she's a, a class bitch. Was she my leading fancy? It's, it's difficult to say because, you know, I've seen the Kirby down through the years. I've often does come through that probably weren't fancied in the beginning and, and, and come out on top. But it, it depends how, how well dogs can run Limerick. Uh, Limerick is attracting everybody's suits. But um, it's a competition now that this year, I think myself, is, is full of class. And, and, and um, uh, Ariel is a class bitch, but she's meeting a bitch that was in the final of the Easter Cup, maybe fair for the, for the Easter Cup. And uh, I don't think there's ever much going to be between them two bitches, but um, looking forward to the race. Bally Mac cash out goes for you as well. He'll be up there in the betting, that's for sure. Goes in uh, heat nine and uh, he looks in good order. He flew round in a, a trial at the weekend. You see, Joe, look, Bally Mac cash out was a young pup. We took him to an unracing crop and started his career there. Um, he's got it all. I, I mean, I, mean um, I think he's drawn one for this. This, this round. Um, but again, he'll have to be at his wits in for the simple reason that there's no slow coaches inside in the, in, in the Kirby. And, and, um, but look, he, he is what he is. He's got plenty of experience under his belt that we're making no excuses. So, you know, he's got to find his way in. And I, he, the dog can run, there's no doubt about that. But you need all look at these competitions to, to survive and move on to the next round. Chatting to Ian Fortune uh, earlier on, he was actually uh, flagging this one up as a, a potential English Derby contender, obviously, all being well and you're, you're able to come over. Is he that good? Is he a really classy animal, as classy as Ian says? Yeah, I believe he is, yeah. Um, from early days, he was, a, he, he, he's a, he was a very fast dog and, and he has that zip of early pace and, and he can get a trip solid. So uh, if we were going to England, if we are going to go to England, uh, and please God, he comes off sound uh, and, and, and is well after the Kirby, he would probably be in the, in, in the van, yeah. You've got three other runners as well at Limerick. Uh, you've got Ballymac Merlin, Ballymac Bellvolt, and Ballymac Fair One. Tell us about these three, perhaps they're slightly lesser known at this stage. Well, we'll start with Ballymac Bellvolt. He, he was um, he was running up in the, in the, the Juvenile Classic in Tralee this year, and um, the way on the pet world. And uh, look, a fast dog, but probably lacks a real touch of breed early pace and, and is, is a very, very strong finisher. Might be a little draw dependent that he, he, he loves the rails and that's probably where he's going to head for. Is he going to get up in Limerick? It's anyone's guess, really. But um, drawn in the middle the next night. Again, he had two looks at Limerick. Sorry, he's got a, he got a sprint trial and an unofficial trial there. Went well without bursting any clock or anything like that. But... Um, He's got to learn and it's new to him. He's probably a bit young and probably coming into this competition after four or five races in Chile. But he's in good order and, and, and you know, where are you going to go with the likes of these dogs? So they have to they have to take on their own company somewhere. So let's start here. 
The Kirby's been run for seven years, Liam, and uh, only four trainers have won it. Your name is yet to be on that list. It's obviously a massive prize pot as well. I think it's 80,000 euros. How much would you like to get this one on your CV? Yeah, first of all, look, a big thank you to the Kirby's and the McManuses again for sponsoring the sweep. It's, it's, it's a sweep. Everyone with pups, you know, they, they aim their dogs at every year. The juvenile comes in Chile and then the Kirby comes in and uh, everybody aims their dogs. Of course, you'd want to get your name there to win it, but, you know, it's easier said than done. And I, I won't lose a night's sleep if I don't win it. But um, um, great dogs have won it. And, and um, it's, it's, a, it's a place that you, you've got to learn to like. The dog's got to learn to like it. And, and if, if they can adapt to that, I, I think, you know, there's no excuses. They, they either have it, they don't, they don't have it, you know. Well, as with every competition at the moment, you seem to have a great hand. So uh, good luck in Limerick on Saturday night. We wish you all the very best, Liam. Thanks for telling us your thoughts. Cheers, Julie. Thank you for that.